Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and I'm here playing two different horror games. The first of which is Five Flesh, a horror game where you uh, have a car accident, and horror things happen soon enough. So, this is from the creator of Ghost Study, by the way. That's why I decided to check this out, check in the creator's earlier games. Uh, my car is broken, what happened? Where am I? Well, you're stuck in an indie horror game, that's where you are. A very unfortunate place. Also, you hit a tree. But here's the real question, my friend. Here's the real question. Forget about all the horror stuff. Forget about ghosts. Forget about taxes or whatever. The question is, where did your car come from? Because this is a straight shot of trees. You did not move for these trees, my friend. And you hit this tree in particular. So... Maybe you backed up here, and then kind of angled and then hit it, but like... I don't see how you're gonna pull that off unless you're trying to intentionally commit insurance fraud. And I'm pretty sure the insurance agent saw this maybe a little bit. You know, questionable. But anyway, on to the horror game. Because that's what this is, is a horror game, not an insurance game. Enter cabin. Hmm. A note, it reads, Vi Flesh. A note, it reads, No escape. Well, you could be more subtle, couldn't you? Are you hungry, buddy? A note, it reads, No eyes. I don't get a note. It reads, it is here. What's here? It's locked. Maybe that's a good thing to me. I don't see anything wrong with that. Keep it locked. Hmm. You need to find it. The door, it's gone. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Pretty bad. There's the key. Come here. Hey! What? Sure, just walk out of my life. God, we're dumb. A note, it reads, it won't let us go up. This is like the, the stairs from SCP. A note, it reads, it won't let you go up. Man, we're being particular now. Low ceilings. I think this is the stairs. Okay, before I go down any more stairs, let's think about this. You've crashed in a mysterious woods. There's a mysterious cabin, like you've almost teleported here in your car. Some kind of flesh thing. Oh, look, I can't go up. I literally cannot go up. They're, they're being serious. I can't go up. Or it won't let me go up. But you, you go in a weird cabin. You see a flesh man thing. And you go into a locked cellar. With stairs that seem to lead into the abyss. It's just a series of poor choices. A note, it reads, Never look behind you, it sees. God, don't tell me that, now I'm tempted to look behind me. A note, it reads, Do not turn around. I'm so tempted. It's locked. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to hope your letter is a bluff, my friend. Bluff? Oh god! Oh, we missed it. We missed it. It's fine. It's cool. We didn't see anything. Take key. We're out of here. That's right. Didn't get to see the scare, because we moved around slowly. 
As far as I'm concerned, you didn't exist. I hear Munchen. He reads, Sacrifice. Not me. Oh yeah, there's no door. Funny how bad decisions work out. I have a feeling you want my flesh. God. It's... Wait, huh? Who? It's the... Was the floor always, like, fleshy colored or no? Stop that. You're not going to ambush me around the corner, are you? No, I usually go right, but let's go left. I feel like it's safer this way. It's fine. It's not moving. It was theoretically safe in the sense I did not get attacked. Now, is it safe on the return trip? There is no guarantee, but I didn't promise that. No, I did. Let's take this one here. This seems promising. It's behind me, isn't it? Mm, no. Stop it. That's no good. Okay, now it's behind me. Or maybe it's just in the wall. I don't know anymore. Okay, this looks like an ambush room. I'm gonna hug towards the wall. Looks like we escaped. Woo! We're free. There never was a cabin in the first place. Oh, look, at our car is perfectly fine. Let's see, this makes more sense, right? The car's in an opening. Drive home. Hey, we survived. The end. Was there a bad ending? No. Or is it? Okay. So I guess that's it for Five Flesh. Uh, Ghost Study is definitely probably an improvement over their, their horror concepts. So it's good for maybe a couple of quick jump scares. Um, and for that very... It feels weird to call like 10... It was about 10 years ago, old school. Uh, but that kind of old school indie horror game feel. It's technically... it's I think it's technically considered old school now. Can't be helped. But aside from that, it's got a definition of alright. A little bit creepy. Like I said, a couple of jump scares, that's about it. By the time they got the ghost study, they figured out their atmosphere building a little bit better. So I, I, I can see the progression there a little bit. So the second game we'll be playing is Not All There. This is a never horror game, apparently also involving... Not necessarily outright a car, but you're somewhere with cars nearby. I think a parking lot. So I think the premise is you go to your car, and some things that are probably horror-like happen. Okay. Ooh, the sensitivity's pretty high. Just gotta move my mouse a little slow. So not all there. I see a car over there. Looks like someone else is here. This is the world's most quiet. Hey, 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 hey! Driving like a maniac. Should you hit me? Yeah, I'm looking at you. I got your license. Wait. Is that the real horror? It's just unruly drivers in the middle of a parking lot. The world's shiniest, cleanest looking underground parking lot with no people parking. There should be people in here like getting upset that you're slightly like over the line for their apartment parking lot. <laughs> um, and we also have terrible electrical coding. Like, we are getting... That is more than a, a simple arc. That is... 
That is a major fault. That is a huge fire hazard. Oh my god. What is going on here? Well, I'm leaving. Run, rabbit. Run, run, run. I can't tell if it's a real rabbit or a plastic one. Where am I running? I, I should have a choice in this matter. Hey, you. Don't hit me. I'm running. Okay, I'm running. Now I'm walking. Here. Overlooked. It's fine. It's not me. It's okay. Traitor. What did I even do? <laughs> uh, I've actually played another game for this dev. It's called Trapped. Or something. Uh oh, someone else is here. Am I dead? They're just waiting for me. Well, I can go up now, but before I do that... I'm gonna... Poke slightly around. looks like there is a... Okay, it's not exit. It loops around. Oh, I think we can leave. Nope. No, I'm not turning around. That ain't happening. I'm walking into the scary fog with the blood in the ground. Okay, we're gonna... Oh my god, that man. Oh my god. These people are... Uncomfortable. We're leaving. No! No! Not the AE-86. I think that's what the model is called. I forget now. I forget my initial D. I confuse it with other car models sometimes. Because I played a different model sometimes in that game. But no! Wow! So he murdered me. <laughs> Off screen. I was too I was too busy paying attention to the initial D car. Okay. Oh, there's a person there. Wait, no, there isn't. I've been lied to. I'm doomed. I've just backed myself into a corner. Was there a person there? Was I seeing stuff? Hello? I'm gonna try to survive here. We good? No, we're not. There's a person chasing me. Oh, oh wait, that was the guy that was waving at me. On August 16th, 1995, local police discovered six bodies in an underground car park owned by Dezo Software Incorporated. Five of the bodies were so severely mutilated that they could not be identified. One of them was identified as a former employee who was working late on the night of the murders. Police got the killer through security surveillance cameras in the car park. The killer is winning trial and is currently being locked in a maximum security cell. The killer used a chainsaw to mutilate his victims. Intel says he was fired two years ago from Dezo and has since planned his revenge. Okay, so I checked. So it is the AE-86. I think that's what I said, right? That's the car from Initial D, the, uh, it's an actual car model, but yeah. So, that was something. I played this person's other games, and those weren't too that, that too bad. This one obviously was just for a, a quick, I think it was just for a quick game jam. Like, just for a quick jump scare or something like that. Six minutes and you're out of there kind of thing. Um, and it turns out it was just a person who really hated the car from Initial D. They wanted to get his revenge with a chainsaw. That's... That's all you can say about the game. <laughs> um, I mean, that's the real horror, right? i have seen that car burn down. That's never A86 lost to the... The time now. Who cares about these hipsters? These, these people working in the tech industry? Care about that car? These people can be replaced by that car? No. 
Anyway, that's a fruit for two separate horror games. Both of them had somewhat an oddly similar theme of a car at some point being involved. But thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys later. And take it easy.